Hi, I'm Chris Phelps. Thank you for taking a moment to check this uh, video out and this website here, which is my fundraising website. This is part two. It is today, the last day of August 2012. And I'm doing part two on this fundraising site uh, because I am still in need of uh, financial assistance to take care of some treatments. Um, one year ago, I was diagnosed with uh, stage four colon cancer and I have been pursuing alternative treatments since the doctor said that my condition was terminal. Um, I felt my chances are much better and it also resonates with my core philosophy. So uh, thanks so much to the people who have already uh, helped me to pay for a couple of treatments. Uh, that I've been involved with because my condition has improved over the last four weeks, I'm happy to say. Yay! And uh, the money that I was able to raise uh, enabled me to go to the uh, Living Foods Institute up in Atlanta where I spent 10 days. And the turnaround up there was um, really quite spectacular in a very short period of time. And based on that, I decided to uh, sign up for another 10-day program there. Uh, neither of those programs are uh, cheap, but uh, well worth uh, my life and the healing endeavor that I am exploring. Um, I have also just signed up for a program called uh, at the Hippocrates Health Institute uh, here in Florida where I am staying with my mom. And this is a three week long residential program, uh, which is quite uh, pricey and donations have helped me to make this a reality. My treatment plan at this point in time uh, goes something like this and this is where I need your help because I'm really on a shoestring budget here and I'm relying on what is generated. Um, it goes like this. I'm planning on finishing the Hippocrates three-week uh, treatment program here by the end of August and uh, I want to go back to my home area in uh, Berkeley, California. I would like to be able to get myself a place to live. I would like to be able to put together my uh, healing um, practitioner treatment program that I had in place before I left. And uh, eventually I want to start back at work part time. I have done calculations based on what that's going to look like for the next year. And uh, I'm looking at wanting to raise another uh, $60,000, which sounds like a lot, I know. But this is what I need, and I believe, absolutely, that I'm on the path to uh, complete healing. And um, this is really exciting, and I know I'm standing on a lot of shoulders here that are, that are helping me to do this in a lot of ways. And there are an incredible amount of people that are praying for me who do not have the resources financially to help out. I'd like to ask uh, for a little bit more in the way of financing, and I would ask also that maybe uh, more than a few out of you out there could actually go an extra mile and do some sort of fundraising uh, campaign yourselves where maybe you're able to generate a thousand dollars through contributors of some sort. Now I think this is a really brilliant idea and my friend Aaron who I'm going to post details on, has decided to run an ultra marathon. And there will be a link on this web page of what he's doing and how he's raising funds to help me out in this cause through this incredible endeavor that he's taking on. And so these sorts of things I think can really help to um, reach the goal that I'm working towards. I would really like to keep you all up to date on what's happening. Um, I am a member of uh, something called Lots of Helping Hands. It's a web page. You can sign up to become a member there through Team Phelps, make a request, and you will get regular updates. I also have a blog, uh, healing through cancer dot blogspot, excuse me, blogspot.com and there I post regular updates also because it's really important for me to be able to communicate with you and I can't do that through this particular site here at youcaring.com. Um, so, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am appreciative beyond words and I really 
want to make a difference not only in my life, but for all the people that I have touched and the love that has been pouring in my direction. And I'm going to take this on the road. You know, I've been dedicating my life to helping people, and that is going to continue. And that is something that this is going to inform me deeper in. This is a soul calling, a soul healing, and I want to be representative of that and be part of what's happening here on planet Earth to make this a more healing environment. And I 